I think one of the things that I at least focus on is somebody who's going through cancer can attend, but also the, the caregiver, um, husband, the wife, the spouse, the partner, whoever that person might be. They're also usually welcome to attend classes, and that can be a sense of community support as well. But I think it's just the idea of, you'll notice I'm wearing a compression sleeve. So when you attend a class where somebody has, has a little bit of a background in working in cancer and knowing the accommodations that need to be made, we can look at how you need to do some props. Um, I've got some blocks out because this is what I would normally do in my classes. And what I've been teaching people is they might not have the block in their home, but we can take a chair, we can take a stool, we can take different things that a person can come to. So when we go from a standing pose, which is like a mountain pose, to exhale down, you're coming down onto this block. So you're not having to come all the way down to the ground. And we can adjust chair height, we can adjust the stool height. When I'm doing this kind of class, um, when I've been doing it in person, I might have six of these blocks, I might have eight of these blocks, because it depends on how far the person can come down based on, you know, what range of motion they have and everything. So it's just a lot of different work that we do. Um, I focus a lot on teaching people also about sensation. I didn't have um, the swelling in my arm or a little bit of that restriction, that tight feeling, probably until about three years out from my post-cancer surgery. And I really didn't think I was at high risk because I only lost a few lymph nodes. But we have individuals in the cancer community that are experiencing loss of lymph nodes or impaired lymphatic function. So I'd like to talk to people uh, through the yoga, not only about keeping a good um, mental well-being as we go through the class, I talk about the pros and I talk about the benefits. So a lot of the things that I do is I'm teaching people to bring their arms up, for example. And I'll talk about the importance of bringing that lymphatic fluid all the way back down towards the heart center and down towards it being detoxed through the body. So what we're doing through yoga is, if you think about it, kind of like when you're, bring, you're bringing out a, a dishcloth or a towel, and we're bringing that water and that moisture back to our body, which we're mostly made of, of water. So we're trying to detox that system. And as we're moving, if we get that lymphatic fluid going in the right direction, that's the end of the fingers, for example, but back to the heart center through the movements that we do, and we're helping to decrease them 